Hey, Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sports, hanging with Corpy here in, at the Nordica booth. We're at the Winter Sports Market. We're learning all about the new products uh, from Nordica and sort of uh, what's new, uh, what's different, trying to get uh, an education for ourselves so that when we sell it to you, you guys know what you're looking at. But you're getting it straight from the source right here. If this is Corpy, he knows all about this stuff. Dude, what's what's with the rear entry boot, bro? What are we talking about Yeah, here? this is our this is our HF. We introduced it mm -hmm. three years ago now, and it's all about being able to put a boot on super, super easy, and yeah. and uh, being able to get out there and enjoy the sport, just like everybody else. Absolutely, yeah, I know. I mean, if you're, if you're watching this video, chances are you've clicked on a rear entry boot, and uh, so you are interested in that concept. And it doesn't mean, a rear entry boot doesn't mean that you uh, are not a performance skier. I actually competed in moguls in a rear entry boot. Get out of town. Yeah, the what? Solomon Keep. Yeah. Back in the day when 92. they first came out. Yeah, 92, 92, that's about right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we were a little back seat, but we were skiing bumps and uh, it was no problem. And I missed those boots. I'm trying to get that thing unbuckled there, Corby. What's going on? Do I need to? You don't need to. Oh, it's, it just stays it, like that. It just stays. It's just right. ratchet. So yeah, you might be wondering what a rear entry boot is. Um, basically, you just go like that and slide your freaking foot in, which is you, awesome. You want to give it a try? I'm gonna you give it a try. You, you think you can do it? I'm actually a 26.5. Oh man! So you just like slide that thing and, dude. I mean, off to the races. I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. I'm sold. Yeah. I'm sold. Here we go. And then and it's just one easy banger like that. And you're set. I mean, these are awesome. And actually, it's it's funny. I have I've not I haven't skied in these yet, but I have tried them on before. It's surprising how much they do kind of put you in the pocket. Yeah, and there's um, a reason for that. Yeah, um, we'll take out the liner after you take that thing oh, okay. off, and we'll take a look at um, yeah why why we're able to get that you know kind of traditional heel lock in yeah. in this rear entry boot, opposed to kind of the old school old old design style of rear entry boots. Yeah, I don't even feel like I'm too upright. I feel like it, it and you know, it's got, it puts me, puts me in that, that good, that good skiing position. Uh, so let's check it out. I'm curious how you guys do that. Cause that is very nice on off. Let's check the off. Very nice. All right, show me how you guys do that. Yeah, so you know, the problem is uh, rear entry boots, you uh -huh. know, previously was there was no way to kind of control the volume in the shell, right? So it was basically oh, a because big a, a four buckle boot when you close it it wraps it, and gets the volume shrinks exactly. Uh -huh. So we have this kind of gusset cut down the middle of the boot. So I when see. you actually control it here, the shell comes around and holds and secures the foot in place. So uh, that's kinda, okay, okay. That's kind of step number one. And so then, inside, there's these things come together when you exactly pull it. Okay, like All a right. traditional four buckle sure, overlap. Sure. Okay. Uh, and then here, the liner design is actually kind of something we borrowed from the touring world where you have articulating liners, oh, right? Fancy, yeah. This allows us to have a fully congruent heel pocket like you would have Whoa. in a four buckle overlap. Yeah. Old rear entry boots had two piece kind of liner constructions uh. and it compromised. Oh, I remember it. It had the little tab in the back. Yeah. And then the cushion, this back part was actually mounted to the boot. Exactly. That's totally what it was. That's and right. Yeah. As Everyone knows this is a very critical area uh -huh. for a properly fitting ski boot. You, know, oh, you kind of want that cockpit to be locked into place. Yeah. So this liner design with the shell design allows yeah. that to happen. Interesting. Yeah, that's actually pretty high end stuff too. There's that cork around the uh, ankles. Exactly. Yeah. So in all of our HF boots, we put some of our higher end liners. Um, yeah. Just because you're skiing a rear entry doesn't mean you shouldn't have some of the best stuff out there. Yeah, that's pretty trick. Yeah. 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 But that's that's. That's a game changer for uh, people who have, you know, who are uncomfortable putting their boots on and off. Like, Absolutely. Yeah, cool. Nice work. All right, the Nordica, what do we call it? HF? The HF. HF. All right, size to, how would you size that if you were trying to buy it online? Traditionally. Okay, so yeah. 26.5 is like an eight and a half. Yeah, something exactly. Something like that or a nine. Exactly. All right. Okay. All right, Johnny Mosley and Corby talking boots here at Nordica at the Winter Sports Market, trying to get you guys up to speed and get you in the right gear. So when you hit the slopes, you're ready to go. Get the gear before you go. Johnny Mosley for Peter Glenn, Skiing Sports.